We are live here in Lagos, Nigeria. Editors Forum, of course, reaching you from our studios uh, here, of course, in Ikeja. Well, guys, so the, 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 the budget 2020 was presented, and um, just before the break, I said uh, the president is to the presidency, whereas Buhari and the vice president are to spend 3.3 billion naira on foreign and local trips. To add to that is the fact that Mr. President and his vice as well will also go up a whooping sum of 149 million naira on food items or foodstuffs. Oh God. All right. <laughs> Why are you talking of foreign and local trips? Is it that they want to be using that money to buy first class tickets on British Airways? on other airlines uh, the, the president has, oh. the president has yeah. to travel outside the country That's I'm and uh, you know for bilateral but the issue is but the issue is we strike some don't very we have our presidential fleet we have presidential fleets how much does it cost to fuel all those things well to me as regards budgets that is even not even an issue the issue for me is the framework upon which that budget is even based. Mm. If you listen, or if you, if you go through that budget, we are talking that, okay, we'll provide infrastructure, we'll provide health, we'll provide this for education, we'll provide everything that concerns you and me. They said they will now get the money from increments in VAT from 5% to 7.2%. So, presently, you and I provide our own electricity for ourselves. We provide our own water by ourselves. We get our money to improve the roads within our neighborhood. Mm. But we are now saying to go further. We are still taxing us. I see it as the most laziest way, the most innocuous, the most unscrupulous way of financing a budget okay why are you not looking at expanding expanding your ways of generating fund from other economic activities like like ensuring that our refineries are working because when our refineries are working there are a lot of things that go with it Secondly, you remember the other time when they said the president has come up with one economic team and all that. I couldn't, I couldn't assess them because I said, this team, for us to assess them, we have to first of all know the philosophy that the federal government, being led by the president, is handing over to them. And you can see now what he has handed over to them. What do you expect that particular economic team to do? He has told them all we want to do is collect tax and then we move forward. Today, because we talked about tax last week, but I would like us to again look at this trip, uh, foreign and local trip. Uh, Victor, your thoughts 3.3 billion naira, and then of course, uh, food stocks go for 104, uh, 149. A million now. What are your thoughts exactly? It's a, it's a huge waste. Uh, our our annual budgets have become uh, uh, annual rituals because at the end of the day, uh, nothing will be derived from the budget. Uh, for instance, we have uh, you know we the president is the most travelled president across the world today, and uh, when we were in the opposition, he was very critical of uh, Obasanjo and Jonathan at that time. In mm. fact, uh, the current. Uh, 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 media assistant to the vice president uh, wrote uh, well, he criticized that government that time and said that assuming we did not have multiple uh, airplanes mm. in the country where would Jonathan be getting the aircraft with which he was traveling all over the world he said it there and I wrote an article on it then today they are not a government they are still doing they are even traveling more than what uh, Jonathan did for which they criticize him the purpose of having foreign uh, foreign uh, missions, ambassadors, and all that is because some of them could handle some of these things that are making the president to travel. And negotiate you don't need to travel as a president of country. You don't need to travel to every country where they are holding meetings or where they are holding any discussion. Why should that be? 
because you have ambassadors there, you have high commissioner there, you have ministers there. Maybe, but what we have today, the maybe, president maybe, maybe, we have today, he's not playing the role of a uh, foreign yeah. minister, he's not playing the role of a uh, high commissioner, he's not playing the role of uh, uh, ambassadors. Mm. Ah, that is not that is not how a country is run. Okay, yes. how can uh, three point something billion be allocated for travels? That is a budget of some uh, neighboring country that we, we are going to spend on travel. And at the end of the day, you will not even get any meaningful um, benefits from all this travel. Okay, since he, he came on board since 19, uh, 20, 15, today, with all the multiple travel that he, he had engaged in, what have we uh, benefited let, from let, Let's not forget that uh, the insurgency had, you know, eaten into the northeast very... Uh, so, so was, was, it the, was it the travel that we saw? Well, that we saw well, the I want to ask you some investors. So, you want to talk about insurgency, I want to correct that. Mm. The insurgency has not been any way. I want to call the fight against the has not anyway improved since the war we had before. Well, there's this administration would definitely. No, they will tell you on paper no. because, because they talk, they talk about they will definitely not. Yeah. They might not. You see, they are giving. They are giving. They are challenging. They are the travel between Abuja and Kaduaro. No, I will ask a question. Let's go back. Let's go back and talk about the budget, which is our main, our main focus. I mean, Jamie, just before you share your thoughts with us, some persons have said. Should the president have even traveled to South Africa when Nigerians, you know, were treated the way they were treated? Should Siri Ramaphosa not have rather been the, the one to come, the one to come down to Nigeria? I mentioned it. You see, you see, I have been I'm not so immune or insulated to the the uh, missteps of this administration because that's the only way to keep my sanity. This government will run you mad if you want to evaluate its actions. That's the truth. I don't see. I came here. Well, I was on this platform, I think, with Dr. Kaladay too. There, there were some steps that should have been taken. You should have summoned the, the South African ambassador, or is it the ambassador, high commissioner to Nigeria, to Asu Rock. You should have given him a, a, an inspiration, it's a, a, probably a deadline for him to get back to his country. Sure. You, have to, you should have called the, the South African president to and tell him in clear terms, you come in there to protect your citizens. Mm. That will make South African government act. And I said something. I said Nigerians, because when there was no governmental actions, Nigerians took to the streets, attacked some shopping plazas or world, shopping malls, whatever, they felt out of South African interest. Mm. Within 48 hours, they were arrested. Mm. Some are probably facing and being charged to court. Sorry, a South African government arrested any South African for killing Nigerians as we speak? And I said it would never happen because your government was so lame, ineffectual, I'm blinded by whatsoever egocentrism because I don't know what they feel they, they don't know the right thing, how to give out the right thing. That's my jobs have been treated like chickens in foreign lands. But away from that to the budget. Because the you budget. see, I like I like this issue of this because I've been following the budget, especially when it comes to the presidency. Mm -hmm. When I say the budget appropriation act of every year, what I what I go to is the budget of the state house. Now I want to expose some fraud or alleged fraud in that budget. Go and check from 2015. The price, the constant price for preparing the budget of state house is 200 million naira. I don't know what they are paying for to prepare the budget that costs them 200 million naira. It is there. You will now see a, a hundred, a 120 million naira for sporting equipment and 60 million naira for sporting activities. It was there in 2016, it was there in 2017, it was there in 2018. And God willing, we can bet, I can bet my life on it because they are so predictable. It was there in 2019 to be there in 2020. Cooking gas was 90 million. I don't know if they are feeling genies or anjonos as they call it in your land. Um, cooking utensils, they were buying it yearly. Yearly. <laughs> cars, they were buying cars yearly. In fact, began, it is a constant thing. You know what they do? It's just like they just pick the template of the f a previous year, mm -hmm. just and watch the figure and present it. Yeah. Is, is, is that is that peculiar to uh, just the Buhari administration? No, Have we had uh, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Now the question is this: If you accused the past government of corruption and everything, then why are you still doing the same you thing? You said that mm -hmm. is no issue. You said that is no issue. When Margaret Thatcher right. got into government, turned Downing Street, he told them the workers in Downing Street that turned Downing Street is not a restaurant or a cafeteria. You do not eat in the down in, in Downing Street. So you probably have to, if you want to eat, you go out and eat. Coffee vending machines were taken out. Kitchen was shut down. 
and they save costs. You see, you cannot tell me change begin with me. Tell me to tighten my budget. Tell me to sacrifice. And you are not. And you are living in 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 affluence. affluence in the midst of when Nigerians are dying. Now, it's on a personal note. When the president came back from train, that is long medical surgeon to United Kingdom. When a lot of people were saying yes, it was a make. I said it was the time for Mr. President to stop being spiritual and get sensible. As from that day till we speak, tell me the action plan, the rollout plan, policies and projects that that end at giving or getting or probably enabling an average Nigerian to assess, if not that kind of Medicare, something close to what he received in the United Kingdom. Okay. So it boils down the fact that these guys, as far as they are concerned, in the presidency, it is strict. Because if I, if they think I'm lying and they want to come, let the, let anybody in the presidency comes out, let them bring out the approved, the approved appropriation out of those years, and tell me if you see that constant two hundred million for okay. 2015 let, to date. Let, let, let's let's talk about other things. I mean, when the budget was they buy uh, cooking utensils every day. Okay. In is our there family. Even about do you buy every day? Utensils every every year. Okay. Ninety million naira for for gas every year. That's that's the presidential gas. I mean, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's different from the one you're using your home. It's different. Okay, but let, let, let's, let, let's, let's talk about other issues of uh, national interest. Uh, the budget on par. We see par uh, taking about 107, 27 uh, uh, billion naira. We see works and housing probably getting the highest, 262 uh, a billion naira. When, when you are allocating all these funds to these various sectors, can we go to also to the past budget? When those monies too were allocated, what, the performance of what the budget. do we have today to show for it? You see, sometimes when we are doing an evaluation like this, I don't like mentioning figures. Because there are some people watching. When they are hearing those figures, it can give them unnecessary anxiety, hypertension, <laughs> high blood pressure. Do you understand? Rather, rather, you see, what I had honestly speaking, what I'd expected this president to do, having put together that economic committee, take the budget to them. Please look at what we have here for 2020. Based on what I have made do people to come and do for me, can you just look at this? And then see how we can have a performing budget because as far as i'm concerned i don't see how this budget is going to perform what is supposed to perform look at look at what um senate president will say he said yes i am sacrosan i mean uh, uh, january to december is sacrosan but upon what you know, upon what? Let's not forget that I think this budget has been taxed. The budget of uh, is it sustaining growth? Whatever, as, whatever it is. What are you saying? In as much as, in as much as we are giving us a budget that is not specifically showing a direction towards industrialization, there is nothing that's sustainable there. There is no country that has achieved sustainability without industrialization. Go and, go and check history. I have read so many uh, uh, national economies to that level. So you are suggesting that probably industry and trade and investment should have got even when you, Even when you are talking of industry, trade and investment, what are you putting down? In place. What, what are you putting in place to ensure that? Look at uh, Femi Adesh, uh, Adeshino. What, what's his name? This guy in the uh, African Development Bank now. Okay, yeah, yeah, the president. The president of yeah? African development. Yes, of African development. Now, additional or whatever, you know. Look at when that guy was a minister. He put down some things in place to the extent that we were following it, and we can see improvement in that area, and that is what prompted even this government. To nominate him, and they are now even pushing him forward for a second time. Do you understand? So, whatever it is in this budget, what is it that is on brand? I'm so particular. I've been saying it. I've been saying it. I'm so particular. For us to move forward, we must be refining our petroleum here. 
because it goes a long way. Well, speaking about petroleum, uh, just before I, I came on the show, uh, one of my colleagues was saying that uh, I don't know if oil has been found somewhere in the north. Yeah, uh, go, I think Gongola Basin, Gongola Basin, mm. Basin, or whatever. Mm. Even when, even in Lagos, is in also in Lagos. Is in Badai. Is it? 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 No, that of Gongola, they even said is in a commercial quantity, including gas. Agreed. No, no problem. But the question is, are we going to be refining it, my brother? So are you, you are saying if we refine it here, if I, let me tell the multiply effect. Let me tell the multiply effect. If you don't know, and I want listeners to see with me, if if you are exporting crude oil, you're going to export it, for instance, at five naira. I mean, at ten naira. When you are bringing it back, you are bringing it back at like fifteen, seventeen naira. I mark you, you are bringing back only petrol and this diesel is kerosene. and probably kerosene. You have left behind another 13, 13, well over 13 by products that you can use to come and start your petrochemical industry and other allied mm -hmm. factories here. Mark you, and the employment, it, mark uh, you, the wait now, the mark you, if you are refining here, all this money, billions, trillions being spent on subsidy will not be there. That money can be diverted to resuscitate all those barnibon industries along of Accra. Okay? Two, so, people will not be buying at that exorbitant price. That means our our disposable income will increase. To that extent, there will be more employment. More people will pay tax to the government. More people will be ready to pay for different services. Okay. Hey, you can go on and on uh, and on. I know that you can go on and on, but let's let's hear uh, the thoughts of Mr. Victor about the budget and some of the sectors and allocation. Anyone, any sector gives you concern? Well, before we go to sectors, uh, you look at it. Um, for instance, the debt servicing is two point four five uh, trillion. Okay. The recurrent uh, expedition is four point uh, five seven trillion. So, okay. for those segment of the budget we already have about uh, seven uh, trillion going to that so we are left with just three 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 trillion for the 365 uh, days for this budget to run it is going to be run on just three trillion that is my concern and it has always been like that the recurrent expedition has always at way capital expedition and any country where you have a, a larger portion of the budget going for recurrent, there's nothing you can achieve. Mm. There is practically nothing you can achieve. Look at the uh, capital expedition. A 2019 budget, the one we are running now, was 3.18 trillion. In this budget, in the next year budget, it has been reduced to 2.005 trillion. Mm. So what can you achieve with that? And a large chunk of that money will even be going to uh, private pockets because since 1960 till now that we get independence huge amount of money have been spent on power what okay. is the level of power what how many quantity of uh, mega uh, watts of power are we generating okay we are still grappling with just 4500 megawatts mm. a country that we uh, we, we have uh, uh, reached the age of uh, 60 years by next year we are still grappling with just 4500 megawatts mm. so there's nothing to be jubilated about in this budget. Just like previous budget, nothing will come out of it. It's a jamboree, and nothing will come out of it. Well, Yemi, let's let's uh, get to hear your thoughts, especially uh, with the fact that uh, well, it does appear there are no issues of party this time around. Well, are you well, sure? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I'm back to that point. No, sure? Sure? Why yeah. the budget is scrutinized? <laughs> the the party, for instance, now the 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 the, the, the cooking yeah. utensil that he talked about, which they are yeah. repeating every year. It's budget because yeah. no 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 has all by uh, uh, so uh, uh, cooking utensil every every year. You see, I uh, it's me it's so the disheartening. I said it here on this platform, and I will say it again. If you are not careful, the next time, fifteen years from now, or two decades away from now. Um, people will be coming from all over the world just to come to Nigeria and see how people were existing in the 21st century because we probably that is what we represent. Now, I keep saying this this government is too analog, if I can use that, for the digital, digital age we have. They let, don't let us deceive ourselves. Every country is moving towards robotics, artificial intelligence, and what have you. What have, what have I seen anything in that budget for Ministry of Education? If you look at the budget of Ministry of Education, you will weep. Mm. 
Even science, I, I, even science I, I, and technology. I, I, I was going to call even uh, science and technology. That because the president, one of his campaign promises was to overhaul the education sector. Sorry, I, I, I'm coming. You see, you can and, and there is another thing I was, I'm working on a paper which I want them to tell us. They keep telling us that there's a need for us to harmonize the major education and the nomadic education with the, not with the normal, with the, with the curric, existing curriculum. And I ask you why? Why should I be taking schools following people that want to be moving around the country? That's what nomadic education is all about. Why should I be chasing them with classrooms and schools or education? Why should why should I inculcate a major education when there's Arabic studies that can just be fixed in the existing I mean, curriculum and people just keep on going around and reading? And now I said this. I was in, when I, in the Nigerian University. I was studying computer science. I did not get to study the computer lab until 200 level. And when I opened the computer system, I want to start operating on it. I was greeted with MS DOS. Hmm. So that time there was and Windows. You, you didn't gain access to the system until 300 level. Yeah, and there was something called Microsoft. At so that time, I was I had an idea of what Visual Basic SQL was. But for crying out, there was a time I was I was even having a, a, a conversation with my lecturer, and I was looking at me as if I was freaking out again because I was talking out of point. I was I got um, a computer. I was meant to have an exam, a test, and I was asked, "What is a modem?" I, a guy just coming from IT, whatever. I said, "Modem is a, mod the, um, a modulator, the modulator, internet, um, um, internet, internet connectivity device." But my lecturer was telling me that a modem is an, a, a device that converts um, binary and you would leave your lecture to digital. And you'd be wondering, so how do you want to go? So we need to, we really need to work for Nigeria. We need to, well, uh, um, the Minister of Science said we are going to invest in AI. I wonder how with this kind of budget, mm. with the existing curriculum that has to be upgraded and which will cost you money. Okay. Uh, well, guys, we have to go now because we are seriously uh, pressed for time. But... Just, just one last question. The senator representing Kogi West, Dino Melaye, very popular, lost at the appeal court yesterday. And before he could wait for even the media to break it, he actually even broke it himself uh, via his Twitter handle. Should he go to the Supreme Court, yes or no? Uh, you say very popular. Number one, if he, if he say he wants to go to Supreme Court, is that constitutional? Will he not be going out of uh, electoral law? I think I think it the, cannot go the, 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 so uh, the appeal go. stops. I mean, it, it, it case stops in the, the appeal. at the appeal court. Okay. And so now that you chance. have said that he is popular, honestly speaking, I love it the way it is. I want him to test his popularity. Mm. Let okay. me my head go back to if he should win. Oh, I do my car for him. Okay. No, okay. He cannot go to court it again to because. Court. The judgment says that INEC should conduct a fresh election, a fresh election within 20, uh, 90 days. Mm. Assuming it I'm was sorry, I'm in sorry, sir. INEC is now considering having it with go uh, governorship election coming up in Gogi. Okay. I, I never brought that news yesterday. They so, are considering. Assuming the election was just unknown and uh, uh, it was just unknown without giving a new way for a fresh election, he mm. could go to Supreme Court. Okay. But now that uh, opportunity has been given, then he could uh, uh, after the election anyone that wins will also go to, 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 to.